Welcome to Wise Virginia, and whenever I say whenever a place is named after you, you should come and visit it. Wise is the only Wise Virginia is the only Wise incorporated town in the entire United States. There's a couple other Wises that are unincorporated, and there's a county in Texas called Wise County, um, <clears throat> and I think there's a township in Michigan called Wise. But this is the only town named Wise, so we better check it out. Wise, Virginia is located in Wise County, which is located in the western tip of Virginia, not all the way to, to the western tip, but pretty close to the western edge with Kentucky on the north. And it is, the, in, it is in the middle of the county and is the county seat of Wise County. Originally, it was named Gladeville and was settled sometime in the mid-1800s. It was one of the headquarters for the Confederacy, and in 1862 was attacked by the Union Army, and most of the town was burned down. It was officially incorporated as a town in 1874 under the name of Gladeville. And in 1924, it officially changed to the town of Wise. It was named after Henry Wise, who was the governor of Virginia, from 1856 to 1860. His father and brother, by the way, was named John Wise, which, if you didn't know, that's my name. Henry Wise was heavily involved in the 1859 trial of the abolitionist John Brown, and he led the move towards Virginia's secession from the Union after Abraham Lincoln was elected president. He was a bit of a complicated politician as after the war, he supported and he voted for Ulysses S. Grant and advocated for the re reunification of the nation. Wise was a small town when it was incorporated in the 1870s and steadily grew to its peak of 3,894 in 1980. And at that point, it has started to decline. It's lost nearly 1,000 off its population to 2,970 today. There are some Pretty well-known people from Wise, Virginia. The actor George C. Scott is from here, as well as professional NFL football player Carol Dale, who won three NFL titles with the Green Bay Packers, and Glenn Roberts, who was one of the first ever college basketball players to shoot the jump shot in the 1930s. Thanks for indulging me while I check out Wise Virginia. It is kind of strange to see your name everywhere. My name is not the most common last name. There is, like Smith or Johnson or something, but it's out there and there's a few of us. Um, but it is kind of strange to see your name on a whole bunch of different things when you're not used to that. And the uh, the N at Wise, the logo of the hotel is like kind of like how I sign my name. 
So it's kind of weird seeing that. But yeah, so it's interesting little town. Um, I usually don't do videos on towns this large, but I thought I'd make an exception with this one. But it's interesting because it's kind of tucked in the mountains. Population is almost 3,000. It's kind of every little crevice you can imagine. And you, you saw the cemetery. I mean, I've never seen a cemetery on such a hill before. So that was uh, pretty interesting. Thanks for uh, checking out Wise Virginia with me and definitely a beautiful and interesting place to visit. This jail was born the same year as me.